all. He has compassion on all he has made. All you have made will praise you, O Lord. Your saints will extol you. They will tell of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might, so that all men may know of your mighty acts and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures through all generations. Jesus, we just know in your prayer. My sister, <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we come into your presence to worship and praise you, our Lord and our salvation. When life is tough, Lord, grant us both strength and peace in knowing you are here beside us, in darkness and in light, never further away than a silent prayer. Give us the strength to reach out to others, to listen to someone in trouble, and to answer the call for help. Teach us not to judge, but to accept that we are all alike in your eyes. Give us grace to teach the words your precious Son taught us to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the day of our dear bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but to the last shall be known. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father. Amen. The first hymn is number 382. Jesus stand among us. Discern my going out and my lying down. You're familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you know it completely, O Lord. You hem me in behind and before. You have laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. Too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me. 
even in the darkness, will not be dark to you. The night will shine like day, for darkness is as light to you. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame is not hidden from you. When I was made in a secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me are written in your book before one of them came to me. And our next reading is from 1 John 3, 1, 2, 3. How great is the love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Dear friends, now we are the children of God, that we will be has not yet been made known. But we know that when he appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope in him purifies himself just as he is pure. Amen. Do you still have old photographs of yourself? Maybe it's albums over the years. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Would anyone recognise you in your oldest photographs? Do you recognise yourself? The you with hair? <laughs> oh, if you still have hair, you probably went from blonde to dark or from colour to straight. Do you cringe at the teenage you? How green you were, yet confident about what you would do and get and have. How we change through our lives, so who is the real us? Our first evening was from Psalm 139, in part very familiar. While we or others may not recognise the old us, the psalm tells us, that all through our changing, God has known us. God has searched us. He knows our every action, even our sitting or rising, or going out and lying down. Even more than that, God knows our very thoughts and each word we speak, even before we say it. We cannot flee from the knowledge of God. He knows us all every one of us. We have no place to hide, not even in the dark. How can God know us so well? The psalm tells us that because God created us in our inmost being when we were knit together in our mother's womb, and no matter where we go or what we do, even there, God's hand will guide us. God's right hand will hold us fast. It seems a bit too much. All the billions alive today, eight billions now according to the news yesterday, mm -hmm. so individual. All the billions who have already lived and they were so unique too. Well, there's scientific evidence to prove <coughs> that we have one over. Fingerprints. No two people have the same fingerprints so precise that they are used as solid evidence in criminal cases, or DNA so specific to the individual that is yours and yours alone. We were each knitted in our mother's womb, created. Even our days are gained for us, but was it in God's book, before one of them came to be. We are so designed and made as we have changed in our appearance, 
we have also changed by growing into our specific design. A designer individual from start to finish. Through the teaching and the example of Jesus, we know our part in fulfilling our design. As Paul says in Ephesians 5, be imitators of God, therefore, as dearly loved children, and live a life of love. What will be in the end? Our second reading in John, 1 John 3, tells us that when Christ appears, we shall be like him. Our final sinless self. Each individual, still God made as ourselves, but perfect like Jesus. Until that day, we are being drawn towards our future self. 2 Corinthians 3 18 puts it very clearly. And we, who with unveiled faces all reflect the Lord's glory, are being transformed into his likeness with ever increasing glory which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. Don't give up on yourself or anyone else, especially someone near or dear. The God who knitted us doesn't drop stitches or discard his creation. We are in this for a showdown, planned, executed and finalised by God. Amen. Our next hymn is hymn 704, Through the Love of God our Saviour, 704. 